You guys have been waiting for this video for a very long time. So finally, here it is. We are gonna be talking about the brand new eyeshadow quince from Dior. They recently like redid their entire eyeshadow, you know, quince line uh, with like new formula and new color stories. So I have 11 out of the 13 new palettes. The two that I'm missing is uh, Grand Mall and Plum Tool, if I remember correctly. Those are two that I am missing. The Grand Mall looks incredible to me, so I may have to pick that up myself. Um, one of these palettes, the Soft Cashmere palette, I picked up myself from Nordstrom. The rest of these were sent to me from Dior. Thank you so, so much. They were sent to me in this amazing padded, like magnetic closure makeup bag. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? They were all like tucked away in these pockets here. So awesome. So a huge thank you to Dior for sending these over to me. This is not a sponsored video. They just sent over the palettes for me to play around with and review for you guys. So what I've done for this video is I have arm swatched all 11 of the palettes and then I also did eye swatches of all 11 of the palettes. My eyelids are burning. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, instead of doing a full look with each palette, because that would have just, one, it would have taken forever. Two, my eyelids would not be here anymore. And three, I have this blemish up here, you know, concealers on it, but I have this pretty ugly blemish up here. And I was kind of waiting for it to die down, but it's really, it's not going anywhere. And I thought, well, whatever, you know, we all have blemishes, it's fine. It's a part of life, no big deal. But it really hurts. <laughs> really hurts to the touch. So I didn't want to like aggravate it any more than I had to. So I did one eyeshadow palette for each eye. And so I kind of just went back and forth. Um, and then I ended on this one look. So you'll see me do both eyes for this particular one. I've already forgotten <laughs> which one it is, but we will get to it in just a second. So why don't we talk about each palette? Uh, we'll just go in numerical order and then I will give you like my overall thoughts at the end. So what you'll see is the arm swatches for each palette. And what I've done is I've swatched them in clockwise manner. So from the top left-hand corner around and then the center shade is all the way on the right. And then what you'll see is that eyeshadow palette in action. I will apply the shadows to one of my eyes. I'm also foregoing any additional eyeliner. Most of the palettes, I use the deepest shade as eyeliner, but I didn't use any additional eyeliner. I also did not apply mascara to my eyes because I wanted to be able to easily remove the shadows. If you guys just watched my Pat McGrath, a video where I did looks for all four of the shadows. I did the same thing just because I didn't want to make removing the makeup any more difficult than it had to be since my eyelids are so sensitive. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the very first one, which is Black Bow. This is number 079. The only matte shade in this palette is the center black shade. And again, you'll see that all the way on the right. But we have two satin shades, which are the first two. We have um, a deep kind of gunmetal shade that has, it almost looks like it has a glittery flex kind of suspended in there. It does have a shiny base, but you can see like the glittery flex a little bit more. And then that silvery shade is just a really, really high shine satin shade. So I use that first shade, uh, the satin shade that has like a brown kind of like tint to it. I use that on the outer corners. I kind of brought it into my eye socket, like crease area, just to kind of frame out my eye a little bit. And then I went into the lighter silver shade, the one that was really, really high shine. And I added that to like the inner corners of my eye, the inner portion of my lid. I moved over to the darker, a metallic like gunmetal shade. I added that to the um, like outer corner of my eye. I added that second uh, like white satin shade to the inner corner of my eye and then I used the matte black as a liner. Next up we have Denim 279 and this is the blue toned palette. All of the shades in here are uh, like a range of satins going from, you know, like a basic satin to ones that are a lot more shimmery. I would say that second shade in, which is the top right hand corner of the palette, that shade has the most shine to it. So what I did was I took that shade with the most shine and I started with that one and I applied it to the inner portion of my lid. And then I took the slightly deeper metallic shade. It's the one in the bottom right hand corner. It was the uh, fourth swatch and I applied that to the outer portion of my lid. And then I took the gold shade, the shade that's in the center. I used that uh, to kind of blend out the shades at the top because the blue is a really strong, strong blue. And then I ended it by using the navy as liner. 
Next up we have Poncho, which is number 559. And we have one matte shade in here that is the dark brown. It's the third swatch in. And then we have a range of finishes going from, you know, like satin to high shine metallics. So with this palette, I started with the bottom left hand corner, which would be the fourth swatch in. This is like the satin shade, medium brown tone. And I used it on my outer corner and I brought that into my crease. And then I took the very first swatch, the shade in the upper left-hand corner, and I used that on the inner portion of my lid. And then I added the lighter color, the second swatch in, I used that on the inner corner of my eyes. And then I took the matte deep brown color to line my eyes. Next up we have Jungle number 579. And in this palette we have uh, basically like two matte shades. The third swatch in, which is in the bottom right-hand corner, it's that really, really deep algae green. That one is a matte, and then the center shade, which is all the way on the right-hand side, that is also a matte too. That's the deep chocolate brown shade. That center shade, while it is a matte, it's a little bit of a softer matte. It's almost like a demi-matte. There's no metallic in there. There's no sheen to it or anything. It just doesn't look very flat. It doesn't look as flat as the green one. And then the rest of the shades are like a satin metallic. So I start by adding that first shade in, the uh, satin peach shade. I add that to the inner portion of my lid and I sweep that over the center. And then I go in with the deep matte green shade and I add that to the outer corner. And then I use that champagne satin shade, the second swatch in, I use that on the inner corners there. And then I took the center uh, matte brown shade and lined my eyes with that. Next we have New Look, and this is number 599. There is one matte shade in here, and that is the very dark brown. The center shade is very interesting in this palette because it looks matte, or at most it looks like a, like a demi satin in the pan, but when you swatch it, it almost has like a duochrome shift to it from like a deeper like wine red to a brighter red. It's a really interesting shade. So I start with the very first shade and I add that to the outer portion of my lid. I bring it into my socket area. And then next I use my finger and I go into the lightest shade in the palette, which was the second swatch. And I just tap that pretty much all over my lid. And then next I take a blender brush and I go into that center shade, that red shade, just ever so slightly. And I just use that to kind of deepen up the outer corners of my eyes, kind of drag it into um, my crease, my socket line area, and then I line my eyes with the matte brown. Next up we have Nude Dress, which is 649. And again, in this palette, we have only one matte shade, which is the deepest shade there. It's the one in the middle. The center shade here, which is all the way on the right, again, it looks like nothing spectacular in the pan, but when you swatch it, it just has a really beautiful, beautiful sheen to it, where it gives it almost like a duochrome effect. And then we have two satin shades and one shade that is uh, like a metallic, which is that first shade on the left. So first, I go in with that fourth shade that I swatched, which is the bottom left-hand corner. I use that uh, on the outer corners of my eyes and add that into the crease and socket line area. And then I grab the super shiny shade, the one that is swatched all the way on the left-hand side. And I add that to the inner corner and the center part of my lid. And then I grab the very light satin shade. I add that to the inner corner of my eye. And then I line my eyes with the matte brown shade which I don't think is deep enough for liner, so I'd probably have to grab something else, but it's okay in a pinch. Next up we have Soft Cashmere, which is number 669. You guys have seen me use this quite a bit. And this palette also has one matte shade, which is the deepest brown shade. And then the fourth shade and the center shades are uh, beautiful satin shades. The second swatch in is like a topper shade, and the first swatch is like a high shine metallic shade. So I go in with that fourth color, I add that to the outer corners of my eyes, and then I go in with the first shade, the super metallic taupey shade. I add that to like the majority of my lid. I go back in with the deeper metallic shade, kind of deepen up the outer corner again. And then I add the light topper shade, I add that to the inner corner of my eye, and then as usual, I use the uh, matte brown shade to line my eyes. Next up we have Mitza, number 689. And this one again has one matte shade, which is the deep brown shade. And then the rest of the shades in this palette have a beautiful satin finish. So I start with the satin brown shade. That was the fourth swatch in the shade on the bottom left-hand corner. I use that on my outer corners. Then I use the copper shade on the rest of my lid. 
And then I take just a little bit of that red center shade and I add that to the outer corners, kind of just give it a little bit of a, a hint of red. And then I grab the gold shade and I add it to my inner corners. And then I line the bottom of my eye with the matte brown. Next up we have 22, which is number 769. And that is actually what I have on my eyes. And there are two matte shades in this palette. The deep kind of, it's like a brown, but there's a very strong purple undertone there. And then also the center shade, which is all the way on the right. Those two are the matte shades. And then we have um, some beautiful satins. The lightest shade in there is, uh, it's like a sheer topper. And then the lilac kind of purple shade definitely has a color shift in there. It's really beautiful. So I add that first shade to the outer corners of my eyes. Again, kind of same deal. Bring it into my socket line, crease area. I take my finger and I apply the lilac shade to the majority of my lid. And then I take a little bit of that light topper shade and I add it to the inner corners and kind of brush it over the lilac just to lighten it up in the inner corner there. And then I line my eyes with the dark brown shade. Next we have pink Corol, which I think is how it's pronounced. It's number 859. And this has obviously a very, very pink tone to it. So I start by adding the very first shade onto the inner portion and center of my eyelid. And then I take the second shade, which is like the hot pink shade in here, and I add that to my outer corners. Then I use my finger and I take the kind of bright crystally shade in the bottom left-hand corner, and I tap that all over my lid. And then I take the deep matte color and line my eyes. And last but not least, we have Rouge Trafalgar, which is 879. And this has a beautiful red toned story to it. So this palette has one matte shade that is the center shade, which is swatched all the way on the right. And you can see that again, it's just the, the mattes in all of these palettes, none of them are exceptionally flat. They all have like a demi matte kind of finish. And then the rest of the shades in here are satins. The lightest shade, the one swatched second in, has a little bit of a top coat glittery effect. So I start by adding the, um, it's like the shimmery rose color. I add that to the center of my lid. Then I take the peach color, which is the first color swatch. I add that to the inner portion of my lid. And then I take the center red matte shade and I add that to the outer corner of my lid. And then I take the dark brown. I add that as liner. And then I just use my finger and grab some of that light glittery shade. And I add that to the inner portion of my lid. All right, so those are all 11 eyeshadows swatched and in action. I apologize, I don't, I don't think I did any like fantastic eye looks. <laughs> I just wanted to get them on my eyes so that you could actually see them on my eyes. So my overall thoughts, and I think I've, you know, this is probably old news to you guys at this point, but you guys know how much I love these new quints. They're, the formulas, the color stories, I think they're all really, really beautiful. And I was thinking about, you know, which is my favorite, which is my least favorite. I think my favorite still is the soft cashmere. That's the one that I purchased myself. That's the one that uh, really kind of was the gateway to the rest of these because I fell in love with that formula. I had never really been the biggest fan of Dior eyeshadows or the quince. Um, up until that point, I, I really liked their mono shadows, which I feel like these uh, emulate those mono shadows a little bit more than the previous quince. Um, so I do really like the formula. My favorite one I think is soft cashmere. I do really like tutu, which is what I have on my eyes. Well, for me, it was unexpected. I don't usually go for purple eyeshadows, but I just thought this was so pretty and I'm really liking like a lilac. Instead of like a straight up silver shadow, I kind of prefer a lilac that has like a little bit of that red and blue undertone. It just, I don't know, I think it just looks a little bit softer on the eye. So there are a couple um, things that I wanted to mention, some standout things that I remember. Um, the first quad that I played with, Black Bow, um, I love this color story. It's very, very cool, cool toned. It is also very, very cool. But the two silvery shadows I noticed had a lot of fallout. I didn't get that much fallout with any of the other palettes. This one in particular, I don't know if it's because it is very silvery. This one has like quite a bit of glitter in there. If this one appealed to you. I did just want to warn you to either, you know, maybe do your foundation after or just be aware of that. Maybe put some powder, loose powder on underneath your eyes or something. So the other thing I wanted to mention was, you know, again, I was thinking about what my favorite one is, what my least favorite one is. And I think this one is my least favorite, this denim one. I think even if I liked blue eyeshadows, this one is just, 
is just tough because I don't think you can create uh, like a complete look with this unless you just wanted to use like a couple of shades and that's it. You didn't necessarily want to like transition them out. I just think it's missing a little bit. And when it comes to quince and quads, I really, I like their, their practicality. I like their simplicity. And I really like the idea of being able to create a complete look from either a quint or a quad. And then these two shades in here, which are so, so beautiful, on the eye, they're very close in shade. I put, you know, the lighter one on the inner portion of my lid, I put the deeper one on the outer portion of my lid, and when I blended them together, I didn't get any kind of dimension. It looked kind of like one shade. So yeah, I think this one is my least favorite, even though it is beautiful. These are all very, very beautiful. So other than that, like I said, I love the formula of these shadows, and I really like the variety of the shades in each, except for maybe denim, we've already talked about that, but the finishes of each are just, they're so, so beautiful. They last all day on my lids. I have very, very dry lids. All I have down is concealer and a little bit of powder, and then I put the eyeshadow right on top, and they stay put all day for me. I've worn soft cashmere, nude dress, black bow, rouge trafalgar, and new look, all day and they all performed really really beautifully on my lids so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video